Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. An American witch hunt focusing on the media. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Freedom of speech is a delicate thing because it protects irresponsible people who use words to hurt other people. Of course, the greater good is that all Americans can express themselves, hopefully in a mature way. But there is no question that the huge partisan divide in this country is leading to hate speech, slander, defamation. There's no question about that. And now some Americans are calling for firings, boycotts, and in one absurd case, criminal prosecution, all for speech they don't like. The latest is the Conservative Media Research Center calling for the Comcast Corporation to fire some people at MSNBC. Now, we sympathize. For years, gutter snipes on that network have been abusing freedom of speech, intentionally trying to harm folks with whom they disagree. In fact, we spotlighted the General Electric Corporation, which at the time owned NBC, and aggressively reported GE's irresponsible position involving hate speech. But we never threatened anyone. In fact, the only time I mentioned a boycott was when France was actively aiding Saddam Hussein. In the ludicrous Pepsi situation, you may remember, I simply said I would not buy Pepsi. The marketplace should dictate these controversies, and it usually does. MSNBC has few viewers. Last month, it ranked 26th among all cable networks in prime time. Far more successful is Rush Limbaugh, but his program has lost scores of sponsors who objected to his comments about Sandra Fluck. However, that posture cuts both ways. I'm sure many of Mr. Limbaugh's listeners are angry with those sponsors for bailing out. The entire boycott movement is garbage. The far left threatening sponsors who advertise on programs they don't like is flat out on American. So I believe that the Media Research Center is making a mistake sinking to that level. We sometimes use some of MRC's facts, and they've always been reliable. MRC is a good source of information. It should stay that way and stay out of the boycott business. I have no beef with anyone who's angry about the Limbaugh situation on either side. You are smart enough to form your own opinion. And I believe in the free marketplace. That's why we stood up for Ellen DeGeneres when some conservatives were pressuring J.C. Penney to fire her as a spokesperson. We want a vibrant America. We want free speech all over the place. But when that speech turns irresponsible, the marketplace should dictate, not pressure groups armed with threats.